Hey everyone! Back in June I had a video called Project Graveyard Makeup Edition. I picked a bunch of makeup products from my collection that I was no longer using for no particular reason. I just had gotten away from using them because I had so many other products. So I picked out these products and I made a pledge to myself to use them until they were used up or I decided that they were not going to get used up because I hated them. I actually finished this challenge a long time ago but I've just been really slacking on filming the update video but I'm going to do the update today because I am sick and tired of looking at the empty containers that have been sitting on my makeup table. Uh, okay, so First thing was the Elizabeth Arden uh, Flawless Finish Maximum Coverage Concealer in Fair and I finished that all the way up. This used to be my favorite concealer back when a long time ago. Uh, it was my first high-end concealer so that's why it was my favorite because I had nothing to compare it to. But now that I have comparison to other products um, even though I was able to use it up, it's not my favorite and I won't repurchase it. It is a little bit on the too creamy side. It creased a lot and stuff like that, so I won't be repurchasing, but I did finish it up. Yay! Then I had the Laura Mercier... It's a foundation primer in Radiance, and this was a deluxe sample from Sephora. I did use it up, however, I didn't use it as a primer because I found it made my skin a little bit too dewy and greasy looking. But what I was using it as was more of a highlight for my cheekbones. It was okay, but I won't repurchase that. There's other products that I like better for highlighting, uh, but since it's not really meant for highlighting anyway, I don't know. I didn't like it as a primer, so won't repurchase. Finished it though. Then I had the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and the Urban Decay Primer Potion is a very good primer. I did actually realize that when I started using it again that I do really like it a lot. The best before date is within six months of opening it. So I would definitely never be able to use up an entire primer potion in six months. So if I were to repurchase this if I were to get the primer potion again, I'd probably get it in a sample size, or try to. It takes me forever to get through a eyeshadow primer. But I do have a whole bunch of little samples of Urban Decay primer that came with my Naked 3 palette that I got for Christmas, so that's good. But what I did notice near the end of the tube, it did start to separate. Be careful about that when you get to the end. You get kind of like dry pieces mixed with kind of greasy pieces. So just try to like work it in the tube, I guess, to prevent that from happening. But I also noticed that when I got to the end of the tube, it started to kind of leak around the seam here. I don't know if that's just like a faulty packaging for this one thing, but I kind of didn't really like that either. Like, you're paying a pretty penny for this, so I think the packaging should be able to withhold the entire life of the product. But yeah, Urban Decay, really good primer, really does make your eyeshadow stay on longer and it enhances the vibrancy of the colors and stuff. So, would repurchase once I'm all out of all my other primers, probably will repurchase that eventually. And then I had this Elizabeth Arden Shimmer Cream in Sparkling Sand and I did finish that up. See, there's nothing left here in the pan. And I was using that as a highlight here. I really love highlighter. It's a cream. It was sort of like a hard cream. Like it almost looked like a powder. So I had to apply it with a brush. What did I use to apply that with? But I don't know which one it was. It was probably a concealer brush. Won't repurchase it though. Elizabeth Arden was my first high-end brand that I've ever tried way back in like 2006. So I really loved it back then, but since then I've tried so many better higher-end products, so we won't repurchase that. And I don't even know if that's available anymore. That came in a sample kit that I got with purchase, so. And then I had two kind of foundation products. The first one was actually, this is a BB cream. So this is the Too Faced BB cream. Um, in vanilla glow and 
I did not like this at all. I actually didn't even finish it up, but it's not because of that. It's because it was past its expiration date and I started to break out a lot on my face. The breakouts were probably caused by using expired BB cream. Would not repurchase that. It was too greasy. It's a BB cream, so there's not that much coverage. It was more like, well, actually, that's not true. I do have BB creams. Korean BB creams that are very high coverage. So this is more like a tinted moisturizer. It didn't really fit what what I was looking for. But that was back when the BB cream craze first started here. I really wanted to try it out and didn't like it. Won't repurchase it. And then I had the Silk Cream Foundation from Laura Mercier. And this says luminous coverage, but it is very matte and it's very high coverage and very matte and where I didn't like this because it was too luminous, I didn't like this because it was too matte. So, I did end up using this all the way up, um, but what I was doing was I was mixing the two together. This one was too dewy, this one was too matte, so I mixed them together and it was workable, but like I said, because they were past their expiration dates, uh, I was breaking out. So. Um, so I did finish this one because I did have less left of this, but this one still has about this much left and I won't be even touching that because um, I don't want to break out. And my Laura Mercier was in Cream Ivory and this is a very popular product on YouTube so I don't know, for other people it might work well. Um, just for me, I prefer less of a matte and less full coverage. I don't really need full coverage because I don't have a lot of acne now that I've stopped using expired makeup, but I was having some issues this summer. Like, I was breaking out all here and everything. Now, I'm not 100% sure it was because of this, but it seemed like as soon as I stopped using these, the breakout stopped. So yeah, but finish that one, didn't finish that one. And I had this Kiss Me Mascara in black. Um, and this, the little catchphrase that's written on it, stop painting your lashes, tube them. And it's one of those mascaras that's supposed to um, coat your lashes kind of like in tubes. And then you can take it off without any cleanser. You just put water and then you kind of them off. Nice in theory, however, this mascara did nothing for my lashes. Sure, it made them darker, but it didn't volumize or lengthen. It didn't do anything, really. It just made them darker. It was kind of gooey and never really dried completely. And it was expensive. This was over $20 at Shoppers Drug Mart. And, yeah, just did not like it. And, I noticed the last time I opened this, the, uh, you know, the guard thing that kind of pulls the, cleans the brush as you pull it out, that had come loose, so it was like a big clumpy mess, but it seems to have fixed itself. Anyways, I don't like this. I probably used this a total of three times. Don't like it. Would never repurchase it. I probably would try to return it, but I don't have my receipt and I don't want to bother with the hassle. So, and it's been... It's been over like a year and eight months since I purchased it, so really, I'm not even going to bother trying to return it. Just, uh, don't ever buy this. It's not good. It's really crappy. Then the last thing from my Project Graveyard Makeup Edition was this, uh, this is the CoverGirl Professional Natural Lash Ma Natural Lash Natural Lash Mascara, and this is the clear one. And it's kind of gross and gunky. It's not clear anymore. It's brown. Because I use this to tame my eyebrows after I fill them in. I didn't use it up, but I do still consistently use it. It's just, you know, it's kind of one of those staple things that you always just have in your collection. Well, that's it for my update on my Project Graveyard Makeup Edition. I'm really trying to use up a lot of my makeup products. I have quite a collection. I am trying to use up a few things here that... I'm almost done, but because I keep going back and forth between so many things, it takes me forever to use something up. So I've chosen a few items that I am going to really concentrate on using up over the next little while. So I've chosen 
this Revlon Lip Butter in Pink Truffle, and I love this Revlon Lip Butter, and it's almost all used up because it is one of my favorites, so that's how much I have left. So I'm going to be using this exclusively until it is completely done. And then I have these two, uh, these are Urban Decay eyeliners, and as you can see, the only thing left on them is the metal. So I've got this one, I don't even remember the names of them because the names have been sharpened all the way off. I think this one's Demolition. I see I-O-N there at the end. Um, so it's a dark brown and it has no shimmer to it. So I'm going to use this till it's gone. And then this one, I have no idea. There's literally nothing left but the tip and the metal. So this one is a really, really, really pretty um, coppery brown. I'm wearing it today and I will use that one up as well. I also have this Buxom Lash Sampler of Mascara, which I've been using for quite a while, and I'm going to concentrate on this one because I have so many mascara samples here that I need to like focus on using them up. These are all my mascaras. So I'm using this one until it is completely done. And I did just finish up a Clinique sample, sampler, so I'm kind of excited that I used that one up. Um, what else could I put in here? Oh yeah, my Makeup Forever HD powder. So this is a finishing powder. Didn't know this before at all. Setting powder is different than finishing powder. Who knew? Well, probably a lot of people knew, but I didn't know. So finishing powder, you put it on after all of your makeup's done, and it gives you like, um, like a... I don't know, it finishes your look. Setting powder you put on after your foundation and concealer to set it so that it stays on, like if you wear liquid. Anyways, you probably already knew that. I don't know. I didn't know that, though. So this is the um, HD powder from Makeup Forever, and I've had this for almost a year. And it's just the small size, so it's only 5 grams. Um... But that's how much I have left, just this much, and it comes with the, like, the little sifter top here. So I've been using that consistently for a whole year, and that's, I'm just now almost finished. So yeah, those are my five products that I'm going to be concentrating on using up. I don't know how long it's going to take me, so I'm not going to give myself a time limit, like a month or whatever, because I have no idea how long it'll take me. This time, when I do get through them, I will do a video right away instead of waiting months and months and months. But I'm really excited that I finally get to throw away all of those um, empty products that have been just sitting here staring at me. I am trying to clear my makeup table a little bit. Especially because of my Ipsy and Top Box and Lux Box. I have so much makeup laying around, it kind of gives me a little bit of anxiety. So I need to, like clean up my collection so I don't feel so overwhelmed. I know that's a little weird, but I like having a big collection, but sometimes it gets overwhelming when there's too much stuff staring at you all the time. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my Project Graveyard Makeup Edition update slash next challenge, um, I guess. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!